Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going to be checking out ETS 2. Well, we're not checking it out. The The update has come out. The 1.4.0 update has come out now for ETS 2. It has released. We have 351 miles to go. We're in a European truck. Okay, here uh, we go. A BMW, I mean a Mercedes. Excuse me. So let's get on the road. We'll get a thumbnail. Turn right. I don't play ETS two that much, guys. I'm not really too fond of these types of these trucks. Uh, you know, I'm more of a Peterbilt guy, and, you know. Mac and stuff like that, so but it is fun to get in here and play it. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. We'll go ahead and close up that map here in just a minute. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Oh, we hit the wall. Trying to close the map up. Oops. Can't drive this morning. Do have a GPS in the truck now. I did uh, buy a GPS for the truck. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. If you have not heard, guys, you have been keeping up with news for uh, SCS News. Uh, Nigeria is uh, supposed to be releasing in April. Uh, they're going to do the Heart of Russia after Nigeria. For ETS 2, um, there is no release date year for Wyoming. Go straight on. For American Truck Center, they, they didn't, they have not put a release date on it yet. And as far as Texas, there is no release date. Go ahead and get a thumbnail. Go ahead and get that out of the way. That way we can go ahead and get our thumbnail. It may get dark on us in this run. I'll go ahead and get it while it's daylight. Alright. We got our thumbnail. Hope everyone is enjoying the videos. Guys, uh, remember that I do have a full-time job, so uh, if videos don't come out every day, it's because I just don't have time to do them. Um, when I do get off, it's late, and it's just I, I don't have time to record them and upload them and all that in the same day, so...
kept being quiet, guys. And then turn left. Turn left. Now, I, I, like I said, I don't know much about these trucks. I do believe this is a default engine in this uh, Mercedes for ATS or ETS too. Let me see if we're going to get on the ferry real quick. I'm just checking out the map here to see. Oh no, okay, yeah, we get a straight shot. We, we know how to get on one. I didn't know if we had to get on the boat or anything, you know, on the ferry, but we don't. But look at the difference, guys, in the uh, graphics, the lighting and everything. It looks really good. E even over here on ETS-2, you know, it's uh, a lot of, you know, you know, ETS-2 is a lot older than ATS, and I mean, it, it looks really good over here. You know, SS, they're, they're knocking it out of the park with these updates. Look at the clouds. I'm using some of the uh, Jazzy Cat's traffic mods over here. It may have some problems with some of them over here. I haven't went over and checked if he's updated that stuff, so I'll have to do that. I have updated everything over on ATS, but I haven't over here yet, so I'll have to go ahead and update with traffic mods and stuff over here, too. Uh, I don't have a track R, uh, I, so I can't look around in the cab freely. I had to use a controller because I, I drive with a controller. Let me pull up the menu here. Ah, uh, wrong button. We're good on fuel, we got 272 miles to go.
but yeah, I am really liking what I'm seeing with these updates, so... Uh, and where it's going. I mean, it looks really good. Go straight on. And put the crew control on. Someone got pulled over. So guys, uh, um, let me know if there's any modded trucks out there uh, you want to see run over here in ETS 2, uh, European trucks. And then continue straight on. Um, I don't know a lot about them, like I said. There, there's a few uh, American trucks on. over here. There's not many. There's a few of them that does get released over here. Um, uh, Vipers 389, he does release it over here. Hopefully he will update it over here um, for 1.4.0. Oh, I know it's been updated um, over on ATS. Go so hopefully on. he will update it over here. But there are a few that does get updated for over here. Take a look at Keep left the size and of then thing. continue straight on. Go straight on. Road systems are a lot different. Beautiful game though. Really do enjoy it. Um, I do know that there is a new truck that's coming out. I don't know if it's come out yet for the new um, for 1.4.0. Uh, I do know that they did announce for ETS2 here. Um, I'm bad with the names of these European trucks. I, I do apologize for that. Not quite. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, that's one thing too that I want to talk about. Um, as you, everyone knows, your SS is a European type company, and they do make a American truck simulator in this here too. Uh, with these European manufacturers, they have a lot more models for these trucks. 
than what you know we have in the United States. You know, these manufacturers over here, they may only have three, maybe three models that they're currently you know selling. You know, at, at that time, over here, uh, European trucks like this, they could have eight. You know, or, or seven. We we don't do that over here. You know, Mac and Peter and all them. They may only have three uh, or at least four models that they're selling. Um, and, you know, SCS is not going to, um, as far as American Trump Assembly goes, they can't put something in there that's not licensed by the manufacturer. I, I see comments all the time where they want them, where, where people want them to bring a Freightliner Classic. They can't do that. If Freightliner tells them they can't do it, then they can't do it. And, and it's it's pretty much that simple. You have to have license to you know for all these trucks. They have to have license for that. And without license, they can't do it. So and it's the same thing over here. You know they they have to have license for all these truck brands too. But I mean. Yeah, there for a long time. I've been playing ATS since it come out, since 2016. Long time we didn't have a just two trucks. Was the 579 and the um, yeah the 579 and T680. You know, then they released the uh, the W900 and the um, 389. And then we went another long time, but then we got the Volvo. So yeah, it's yeah. So we're unsure right now what we'll get this year over there, as far as trucks. Um, I would really like to see a new pity belt in Kenworth over there because we haven't had one. I would really lo love to see that. Uh, I do know that the next gen uh, pity belt 579 and the next gen. Kenworth T680 is now out. So I, I would really like to see that come to the game, but as of right now, we don't know. I mean, they have not said. The only thing that they've showed is uh, Texas and Wyoming, which is great, you know, that they're working on Texas. Um, as far as Texas goes, do I think they'll have it done this year? It's going to be tough to say. I mean, it depends on what, when they have Wyoming done. To know if they will have it done and as considering that it's almost April and Wyoming's not out yet and Nigeria is coming out in April I don't know it's, it's gonna be hard to say if they if they will actually have it done on time keep right and then exit right. Oh, they got a detour. Exit should, right. Well, we going around it. I should have turned it down. And as far as uh, Monty trucks go, Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of good modded trucks out there. You know, there's modded trucks out there that's paid modded trucks. So, um, as far as me, uh, I prefer using the uh, SCS trucks. I do use modded trucks sometimes. You know, I want to use something different. I will use one. Um, but as far as um, only using them, no. I mean, I, I prefer using these trucks. Um, you don't have frame rate issues as a, you know, as a killing the frame rate. Um, you don't have the issue to where when you the game updates, the, the truck updates, the old one don't work. They remove it. Uh, it doesn't work. It crashed your game. You know, because you, maybe you bought three of them for drivers and or for yourself and you go to click on it and it crashes. No, you don't have that issue with these trucks. So that is my biggest reason why I do use this series trucks more. I really don't have the time 
to, to go around and had to replace the trucks every little bit modded truck so we're 117 miles out Now I may do a, uh, I'm thinking about doing a third profile on my truck somewhere where I may run some of the trucks on the workshop. Those trucks that's on the workshop over there, they seem to get updated more than any of them. Um, so that's something that I may do. And you know, run those this over there. That's something that I've been thinking about doing. So, Hard to see that GPS. I'm gonna have to move my seat up in the truck. Let's see if I can see it a little bit better. Now you know, in mods go. You know, engine packs. I do use them sometimes for the. Um, the SCS truck, some of the mic trucks, somewhere. Um, I've got one. Well, there's one that I use that just replaces the sounds. It works. It still keeps the same engine. It just replaces the sound. If you turn it off, um, you don't have the problem of crashing. It's not a whole different engine. It's the same engine. It just changes the sound. I like that better because you don't have to deal with the with the has the hassles of of the game crash and had to go uh, restart the game you won't let you even click on the truck if it crashes because the engine or, you know, or something like that you know I've had that happen many times look at that view beautiful 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 view. Quiet little drive, not really a lot of traffic on the roads. Nice view, uh, like the sun, it may be getting dark. Cause... Uh, not yet. We got 44 miles to go. It's uh, about 3.50 in the afternoon.
there's no way I could read those signs. So we just follow the GPS. Yo, let me get a note too, guys, if you want to see what other types of games you want to see. I, I wanted to do um, the bus. Uh, there's a new bus similar that has come out called the bus. Um, but the problem is that it has no control support. It has a wheel support, but I don't have a wheel. So. And the other thing is, I don't have nowhere to put a wheel. I have nowhere to put it. So. Uh, Roundabout, take the second exit. Yeah, we got to remove those uh, traffic packs and stuff. I'm seeing some issues that's telling me that. Exit now. That car right there is uh, one of the ones that's going to that. Get I will have to Turn update right. all of that. Turn right. Go ahead and pull up the map so we can see a little bit better now. Oh yeah, we're almost here. Go ahead and lay that up for now. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. This is where it ends. All right, well, they want it. All right. Now, guys, like I said, I don't have a track R, so this is how I bite my trailers. I really been wanting to get me one though. I really want to get a track hour, so I don't have to do this.
All right, we drove excellent. We drove 352 miles. It took us seven hours and 44 minutes to get here. We consumed 48.1 gallon of fuel. Let's do this. I can see that's a green building right there. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. I just want to get in here and, and take a first look at the uh, update, the 1.4.0 update for ETS2. I want to say thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and have a good day.